From Michael Henderson, what is your advice? Corporate anthropologist, author, keynote speaker, what is your top advice for people out there who are wanting to create a great culture for their organizational team? What would you like to leave them with? Two things. Number one, if they're in business, your business cannot outperform its culture. So whatever you've got in mind for your recovery out of COVID or your mid to long-term strategic objectives, you know, where you're going to be in 2005 or what your exit plan is for the business, sell it off to the highest bidder, whatever it happens to be. Number one is whatever you imagine is possible, you, you need to factor into your culture because your business cannot outperform the culture it's got. Two, if you realize the culture you've got is the one you need to get you to that exit plan, then as of first thing tomorrow morning, you better start studying culture fast because my experience is nine and a half people out of 10 in business haven't got a clue what culture is. They don't know what it does. They don't know our influence. They think culture and uh, strategy are not related. And then also, if you look at your culture, you wake up and kind of look at your culture, realize what culture is and realize categorically the culture you've got is not going to get you to where you want to go. Then you've got to go through cultural transformation. And again, you cannot do that if you don't first know what culture is. Mm. So if I were to wrap that up, you know, we all know how hard it is to change a habit, right? To, to give up smoking, to stop eating sugar, to go from not exercising to going to the gym regularly. So every human being knows how hard that is. Again, the reason we struggle is most people don't know what a habit is. They don't know where it comes from. They don't know how it forms. They don't know what a habit is actually doing neurologically in the brain. So if you don't know that and you try and change a habit, mm. right, you're massively restricted in the opportunities that are available to you. And yet when you do know, you can change a habit now, right? You can and I'm, I'm not being flippant here, you can stop eating sugar now if you know what a habit is. If you don't, then you're kind of guessing your way to trying to change that behavior. So that would be my final remark is if you, if you, if there's a business case for culture in your organization, in other words, you realize culture's offering a performance level that is required for you to excel, succeed, or serve your customers or exit, then you better get good at culture. And that means you better study. You, you better come and learn. You better access knowledge and awareness and this is back into your world isn't it it's invest the time and the energy to actually understand what you're actually dealing with here because my experience of doing this over 35 years over 300 cultural transformation programs is most organizations do not have a clue what they're talking about